Welcome to TechBoto Blog. This is episode number 47. This week I'll be talking about some new beta software I just released for the Camera Axe 5. There's four new features in the software that I want to talk about today. The first one is on the valve menu. If you go to the bottom of the valve menu, you can now control the camera flash port um, to either be a camera, which is what it's always been in before, or you can make it a flash. So I had left it as a camera because that's what most people use it as. It, it makes taking droplet photography a bit easier. But, um, you know, some people have been requesting, could they hook up two flashes without the multi-flash board? And to do that, they, they, they're willing to forgo using a camera with the valve sensor and, and trigger the camera manually. So uh, I added this feature to the software. Next up on the list is on the intervalometer. You can now, um, after uh, activating it, the up and down arrows um, affect the bulb setting. So this is something that's called bramping or bulb ramping. And the idea is that as the exposure exposure changes that you're taking a photo of, the user can control how long their bulb duration is. So this could be pretty useful for sunsets and that sort of thing. Now we continue on. So this is a brand new menu that I've added. It's the fireworks menu. Let me just plug in a light sensor. So now if I cover it, the light value goes way down. And if I'm letting it just sort of see the natural light, it sort of picks up the ambient light in the room. So the idea of this is to assist with taking uh, photographs of fireworks. So you don't have to pay as much attention and you can sort of watch the fireworks a bit more yourself. And the idea is that you basically want to um, have a, a certain number of bursts uh, of light from the fireworks and take shots of those. And you want to limit the absolute amount of time that the uh, shutter is open. So right now the default is to have the bulb duration set to 5 and the number of triggers, which is burst of light, set to 3. So what that means is that the bulb will stay open um, for five seconds after it sees the first burst of light unless it sees a total of three bursts of light and then it'll shut the sensor so you could get, you know, three displays of fireworks. Now if you wanted to get, you know, always have the shutter open for five seconds after uh, the first burst of light, you just set the number of triggers to 99 then it would, you know, always stay open for the five seconds. Or if you always just wanted to capture that first burst of light, you'd uh, set the number of triggers to one, and then it would always just close after uh, the first burst has been captured. And, you know, sort of play around with it a little bit, experiment before. But I thought this was a cool idea that I saw on the forums. And the 4th of July is coming up, so I thought now is a good time to put it in there and, and let people play around with it. So I'll give a little demonstration. You can see, you know, my thumb being over the uh, sensor is basically, it's, it's dark out. And uh, if you get a burst of light, then it should stay open for five seconds. And when these lights are orange, the camera trigger is, the, the, the camera is being triggered. When they're green, that means that the uh, focus button is being pressed down. So now I'm going to demonstrate what would happen if you'd have three bursts of fireworks before uh, the five seconds. It should go back off, basically. And um, in order to test that, I'm just going to move my thumb back and forth. That was three bursts, and it triggered the camera. And then it re-triggered because um, the burst of light, I, I left my thumb basically off the sensor too long, but if it was like a quick burst of light, then it wouldn't have re-triggered. So that menu is pretty interesting. And 
Then the last one that I want to show you guys is this flash test menu. Now, I haven't tested this at all yet. I plan to do a whole separate video on this because it's really interesting. But this menu was developed by Ricky and Dave. And I just sort of wanted to put it out there because it's it's pretty cool. Uh, the idea is that it will uh, allow you to uh, measure the camera and flash lags and durations. Uh, this is something I've done on other episodes with an oscilloscope. But if you could do this with the light sensor and the camera axe, that would be really, really cool. And uh, like I said, I haven't tested it, so I don't want to say too much about it. But there's some documentation in one of the README files with the camera axe download. And I'm sure that uh, Ricky and Dave on the forums would be willing to help people out. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I'll definitely put a link to the new software uh, in the show notes and uh, also uh, a link to the page that shows you how to program your camera axe. Thanks for watching.